Hi, everybody. I'm Ruth Kinane with Entertainment Weekly, and we're here at New York Comic Con with the cast of Angel. Ooh. Hi, guys. Hey. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. You're so welcome. Um, I believe today is actually the 20th anniversary of the Angel pilot. How does does it even feel like it was 20 years ago? Happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> yeah. Just what me. exactly were we doing at this time, 20 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Probably well, you guys were filming like the third episode at this point. Right? Well, I wasn't on the show at that time yet, yeah, nor were any <laughs> of true. us four. We're all Just looking for a job. Yeah, the you were there. On the show at the, the time. anniversary of us looking for a job. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You're on another show. You were fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were. Does it yeah. feel like 20 years, or has it just like gone by really fast? So fast. I have kids. 100%. So. Yeah. Super fast for everyone, yeah, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we always yeah. kind of pick up where we left off with each other. So in a weird way, it's like the 20 years didn't go by, but there's all this life that yeah. we know Children. did happen. Yeah, 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 exactly. proof. So. But um, because it's been 15 years since the show went off the yeah. air, it doesn't feel that long to me personally. I don't yeah. know why. And 15 rounds down to 10. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was a couple years ago. ago. So yeah, yeah, like we this. just wrapped. What are some of your earliest memories of being on that set or just like working all together as a group? I know everyone came in at different points, I remember uh, I, I first came on, on Angel in the first season. Oh. Uh, I don't know, it was early in the first season. And I remember I was so jealous of, of David Boreanaz because he, my girlfriend at the time got jealous of me and Drusilla. Mm. And because Juliet Landau and I, we became really good friends. We never became lovers or anything, but my girlfriend could not stand <laughs> the fact that we were really good friends. So she told me that she had a crush on David Boreanaz. So I uh. hated him. <laughs> so the first time I came on Angel, I, I, I'm so much shorter than David and I just I couldn't stand it. So I, I put lifts in my boots. You did? <laughs> Yeah, awesome. that first episode, I'm unnaturally tall. It's weird. That's just yeah. smart. Yeah, so that's my pathetic story. Yeah. I just remember the camaraderie of us, really. I think that that was there from the beginning, and it's it's lasted. So, um, yeah. What do you guys What do you guys remember from the early my, days? My first day, I was on a horse horseback in like a potato sack, and David was like, "My girlfriend's in the rodeo. It's all good. I'll do it all." And Somehow it ended up that I fell off the horse, and the horse and David both almost fell on top of me. <laughs> so that, was that, was my, that was my entrance yeah. to the show. I do remember, I remember just being really, really dirty in, in that, that uh, realm with you. Hi, yeah. 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 I remember yeah. being hot. at a used car a uh, lot with yes. you and, and making up dance moves and stuff. I mean, oh. you get delirious at one and two in the morning. Yeah. So yeah. It's always fun and beautiful and enjoyable still. Downtown LA, Friday yeah. night. Mm -hmm. I just remember shaking in my boots my first day. I was so nervous. Aww. For the whole first season, actually. My whole first season, too. I was nervous uh, you every hit it day well. you of hit the it. year. Yeah. You also have a great, Jay, you have a great story of being cast. Can you tell the story about dyeing your hair red and everything? Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, I was, uh, I got the audition for this character, and I was a little intimidated by his, you know, gruffness, his roughness, and someone said that they thought I was too clean cut for the mm -hmm. role, so I made the choice to dye my hair red for the part, <laughs> thinking, you know, well, that's my version of not being clean cut. <laughs> so I, was, I used this spray, it was this spray on dye, and I sprayed my hair red, and then uh, I went in for the part and I read and I remember feeling like I did a pretty good job and Justice was looking at me and he said is that a spray <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oh yeah 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 but I could take it out and he goes oh my wife's colors that my <laughs> wife's hair is that color so. I love that so much um, Amy and Alexis can you talk a little bit about filming Fred's death scene because I think that episode just destroyed a lot of fans oh, and how emotional it was for you guys. us too I think yeah, yeah. Was that was intense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember uh, Joss particularly wanted to um, direct that, and and uh, he gave us an amazing atmosphere. He kind of clear, more or less cleared the set to just him and like the the camera operator. That was yeah. it, and you and me, right? And yeah. I, what are your memories I, of that? I just know that, that at the end of the day, we all went for a drink, and we were yeah. like, sitting in a bar, and none of us spoke to each other. No, we just and sat then there. apparently, the shawarma scene at the end of Avengers was inspired by <laughs> no us yeah. like just sitting there not talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just emotionally drained. Just shelled, you know yeah, what? completely. Um, to pivot to something a little bit later, Charisma, do you have a favorite Cordelia one-liner? I feel like she had so many yeah, great lines. So many. Is there one um, you remember? That's just propaganda spouted out by the ugly and less deserving. Um, <laughs> uh, um, 
tact is just not saying true uh, stuff, I'll pass. Like, she had so many zingers, <laughs> yeah. so many. Yeah. But when I, again, I, I rewatched, I've said this three times, so sorry guys, <laughs> you have to keep hearing this. But I watched um, Spin the Bottle and I loved that episode because Cordelia becomes her old self yeah. again. And I could not, like, oh, what do you have to say, hair club for men? <laughs> like I say to you, like all this stuff. And it was just, it was just yeah. so fun, like looking back on it, I'm like, God, she had great lines. She had amazing. I think good. you had some amazing zingers as well. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I really, oh God, I miss that genius writing. Yeah. I mean, it's just I you bet. get spoiled. If only we could all do that in life, right? <laughs> <laughs> Have the perfect we don't. week. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, since David's not here to defend himself, can you guys share any like pranks he pulled on set? I've heard that that he was a bit of a prankster, or any horror stories from David. He's just a bit of a giggle he's a monster. Yeah, yeah. He's just, yeah, he, he giggles. giggles a lot. Isn't he also terrified of chickens? <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that. I think he is. I don't know yeah, why that needs true. to be known. <laughs> I like that. He's not here. <laughs> I remember uh, I was in one episode where I was like the lead of that episode, mm -hmm. and I came in the next week and I was so tired because uh, they just they, they burn you up when right. you're the lead. And I just sat down the day, next to David and I was like, how do you do it, man? I, after one episode, I'm toast. And he just, he's sitting there staring straight ahead and he just goes, horse racing. <laughs> and I go, what? He goes, horse racing. Don't look left, don't look right, yeah. just run. <laughs> and that was great advice. Well, yeah. he had that week off when he was a puppet. That must have been yeah. a yeah. chill week yeah. for him. Um, as we mentioned, it's been 20 years, but people are still watching the show, and it's on Hulu, and you can go stream it. Why do you think it has such a lasting appeal, or why do people want to explore it or discover it now? What do you think? Oh, that's hard. Yeah, no, it's written like, by it's just Joss great Whedon. TV. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the at the time we, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't, we didn't, I don't think we were just going, Episode to episode, right, and yeah, hoping yeah, hoping that we were perfect. doing something valuable, and then you find out in retrospect that it, it's significant. But I guess this thing about outsiders making a, a, a I, you know, you you touched making on it today it. about making their own family. Why don't you take over? You said that so beautifully. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think the show, you know, for me specifically, I, I look at my character and think about how his objective was to find family and he created one amongst the street kids that he had organized to fight vampires but then he found a new family in a very unlikely place so i think that's one reason but why it's probably so hard for us to articulate why others enjoy the show so much is because as alexis was saying when you're in it you're so focused on what your character is doing and when i go back and watch episodes now I go, oh my God, that's what that episode was about, you right. know? Because I didn't really have my eye on the big picture because we'd be doing three episodes at one right. time. Reading one, shooting one, preparing for another one. So it, it was difficult. So I don't know why people love the show, but I'm glad they do. I mean, it's yeah. yeah. awesome. Right. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta tip our hat to the writers for of sure. Yeah. And Joss, like Joss and Joss David Greenwald and, yeah. 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 He's, yeah. He, he's so talented, Joss, obviously, but he's also both very careful about finding other talented people to mm -hmm. include, whether that's cameramen or cinematographers or stunt people or props people or actors. He takes a lot of time finding the right person. Totally. Uh, and he did that He did that with the writers as well. And you know, the writers that worked on Angel uh, are off doing some of the biggest projects in Hollywood now, right, but we got yes. them all when they were young and hungry yeah. and, and low paid. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. It's Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks Stay tuned everybody. to Entertainment Thank Weekly you. for more from uh, Comic Con.